Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here today. So I got this food saver vacuum sealing system from Costco. I got it on sale. It was about, regular price was around $100. Sale price was $75. And I had my rewards for about 50 something dollars. So it ended, it, it ended up being about $20. So I purchased this and I purchased the extra bags also. Let's go ahead and take a look at this and unbox it with me. So this is a food saver, number one vacuum sealing system, model number FM2900. It says it keeps food fresh up to five times longer and helps prevent freezer burn. That's one of the most, that's one of the reasons I bought it because um, every time I put something in the freezer, no matter how, how good I, I try to wrap it, it ends up getting freezer burn. I don't know if it's because it's in there too long or what, but that's one of the reasons I got this one. And so it comes with a vacuum sealing system with four custom settings, dry, moist, pulse, and sous vide, built-in roll storage and cutter bar for easy bag making. It's going to include the heat seal roll, heat seal pre-cut bags, zipper bags. So we're going to take a look at those right now. Oh, also it comes with, with this handheld sealer and hose. I actually wanted to get one of these on Amazon, but I got this one and, and it came with this. So that's it. That was a good deal. Dry mode is great for vacuuming and sealing dry foods. Moist mode, perfect for vacuuming and sealing moist or juicy foods. Then the pulse mode, manually control the vacuum for soft and delicate foods. And then sous vide mode, vacuum speed and seal optimize, optimize for sous vide cooking. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the box. Okay, so I had already opened it to, to read the instructions. It's in this box. Here's uh, some rolls, a roll, and then here's the machine. Let's go ahead and take it out. And so there's the instruction manual. And here's the roll of the roll to make your bags. And then here is. These are the, okay, these are the zipper bags. Yeah, okay. So I think these would be used like for, for stuff that you're gonna vacuum seal over and over again. I guess you could do that. Maybe some fruits or vegetables. Maybe like some salad, maybe if you have extra salad. Like we buy those big bags at Costco. And um, you know, I wanna empty part of it. I don't know if you know if you use these let me know what you use them for if you already have a food saver and you use these bags let me know what what you most use these for give us all some ideas and then here's the pre-cut bags so they're what they're a little bit more than quart and then these bigger bags look to be kind of like the gallon size zipper bags and they have the vacuum thingy here for for this part and there's Two more, okay, two of these large bags that are pre-cut. So three, five zipper bags and five of these pre-cut bags. And then the roll of this to make your own bags. Okay, let's go ahead and take this out. Actually, this one comes out first. This is a little, the little handheld sealer and hose. I guess there's a clip to hold the to hold the holes together once you're done using it. I'll try that later.
and that's everything it comes with. So soft. Ooh, here it is. Here's the little accessory port. That's where you plug in the, the little handheld one. So, oh, here it is. The little end of it right there. You would place that in there. And food saver. And there's the controls. There's a little power light, vacuum, seal, and whatever mode you want it in. So dry, moist, pulse, or sous vide. And over here is a, here's a knob you're going to turn. So it's on store right now. There's open. So to open it up. Here's what it looks like on the inside. There's a little how to vacuum seal with your food store, food saver bags. And right there, and then in Spanish, oh, there's a little tape right here. Let's take that off. There's another one. Take that off. Okay, that was holding down this part. That's and oh, here's the take this out of here that's just packaging another one packaging so here's a drip tray to if it vacuums up any liquid or crumbs you're gonna go ahead and take that out take it out and wash it off dry it put it back in that looks simple and I think that's everything let's see then you're gonna store it right there store mode and operate okay that's kind of hard so let's go ahead and put the bags in and test it out oh actually around the back is uh in the back there's the power cord you could go ahead and store it underneath so let's go ahead and unwrap it and plug it in let's go ahead and put this roll in on store, I'm going to change it to open right here, the knob to open. I'm going to open it up. And let's see, which way does it go? Maybe um, like this. And then place that under here, which is the cutter. So let's seal this part first. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this part. I think it seals on this part, so I'm gonna place it just to the edge right here. I'm gonna close this down. Put it to put it to operate, and then I just want it to seal. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this one that says seal because we don't want it to vacuum because there's nothing in there right now. I'm just gonna make the bag so seal. And let's see what happens. Okay, so the green light is flashing, if you could see that. So that means it's working. Because I don't hear no sound right now. And it stopped. So now we're going to open it. Have to open. And let's see if it works. Yeah. Let's see. Sealed it right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a bag. And I'm going to need a pretty big one. Let me see. So don't ask me why, but I ended up with a whole bunch of these um, extra cereal bags. And we have some open right now. And I know they're not going to, they're going to finish the other ones first before we go through these. So I'm going to go ahead and try this and see if it vacuum seals some cereal. And okay, let's try to figure out a, a size for this. So I went ahead and sliced one bag, a big one, for the cereal. 
and uh, I thought I was recording, but I I wasn't. But I'll show you on the next one. You just you just go ahead and you know do that, and it, it cuts really simply. So let's go ahead and add the cereal in here. Then it says to leave about three inches of space from the food to the end of the bag. And I would say when it gets flattened out, that should be about three inches. So I'm gonna just you know, flatten it out a little bit without crunching the cereal. And then I'm gonna place the end of the bag in here in the green part. can see right there you don't want no wrinkles you want it to be straight so and then close it put it to operate and put this closer it was dry food so we're gonna leave it on dry and then let's go ahead and press vacuum Now it's sealing. You can see the light flashing on the seal. And once it's done, we'll open it up. Okay, it stopped. Now we turn this back to open. Let's see how it came out. Okay, good. Yeah, look at that. One package of cereal. I guess I could have straightened it out more. But that's good. I could put that away and do the next ones. Let's do some more. And now since this was such a huge bag and I don't want it to go to waste, you know, once we open up the cereal and pour it, we'll pour it into our cereal containers, I could just, I'm, I'm gonna reuse this bag. I'll just cut off the end and then, you know, empty the cereal out and find something else to reuse the bag for. That's smaller than that size. And then, you know, vacuum it up and seal it and as far down as you need. So that's how I'm going to reuse these bags. Okay, now this time let me show you on camera how I cut the bag. So you just pull it out. You lift up this handle, the cutter, you lift up the cutter, pull the bag out. And then you're going to measure whatever it is you want to vacuum seal. In my case, it's this cereal. And you want to take account for this is going to get smashed down, so you're going to need more space. But this has space on both ends, so it's not that much extra. I'm going to cut up to here. So that's the size I want. Then you just... And it's cut. So now we're going to vacuum seal one end. We're going to seal one of the ends, so that goes in here. You know what, I'll just put it in here. Close the lid down. Put it on operate. And then seal. And the green seal light is flashing. That's that you know it's sealing. And once it's done sealing, it'll turn off. Okay, it stopped. So back to open, open it up, got our seal right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and place the cereal in here and place it in the crumb basket, the green part right there, close it, put it to operate and it's dry so we'll leave that the same and we're going to vacuum this time. Let me just make sure everything is like that. Vacuum. Now you can see it changed to sealing. Sealing's done. So let's go ahead and open it. And it says to wait at least 20 seconds before you vacuum seal another thing. So what takes us longer to explain this than that? So anyway, 
So here's our another bag of cereal. That way it doesn't go stale by the time we open this one because the kids are getting tired of this one. So, so they're eating the other ones first. So that's why we vacuum sealed this one up. Okay, let's see what we do next. Okay, now we're going to try one of these smaller bags with the hose attachment. I got this bag of carrots that's half eaten, and I'm not planning on using them anytime soon because we got another bag of large carrots. So let's try how this works out. I'm going to close it. I'm going to take the hose out of the holder. Okay, you clip that in. And then let's put our carrots in here. This is re reusable. Okay, so zip it. And let's go ahead and use this. Let's put it on operate. And then up here, we'll put it on moist because it's a moist product right there. Place this here on the circle. On that circle that it has right here. Place it there. And let's vacuum. So that's done. So there's my carrots. Nice and fresh, gonna stay fresh. Now let's try something else. Okay, and here's another idea. I have these chips that we already opened and ate from. And, you know, sometimes we just roll it down, but it'll, they'll, end up, they'll end up falling out. So let's go ahead and cut this smaller. And put this to open. Open it up. We've got some room here for it to seal. Make sure it's the shortest part's in there. Put it up there. Go ahead and close it. Turn it to operate and seal. Now you can see the green light flashing, so it's sealing. Once it's done sealing, it'll stop flashing. And then we could take it out. It's done. Let's open it. And it's sealed. Did it seal? Yep, it's sealed. Okay, that's cute. I got to cut it straight. It'd be cuter. And then of course you want to go ahead and empty that out. Clean it out. So that's cleaned up and then just wipe it down and and store it and oh and actually so you would store it in that mode to store and then this one you could it has a little a little thing right here that you could hold on, that you could open up you just take off the little rubber part and this thing has a holder right here I could just place it in there to store it. Okay, so there's my review. Food Saver FM 2900. I'm going to be looking for more stuff to store. I stored that. If you like this video, click the like button. And if you want to see more of my content, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Thanks so much for watching.